So you can definitely see the fructose. Fructose is the cause of the current epidemic. It's the cause of the current epidemic. Fructose is 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 the cause of the I'm here in Australia eating tin fruit. This is apricots, water, and sugar. Don't get the juice, because the one is the juice is hardly any calories. Have the sugar one, more sugar, leaner. Judge by results, not by theory. And so I've got a question here. I didn't put, I put on a shirt. Because body fat, body fat might be freaking for some people out. Isn't that amazing? People say sugar makes you fat, and they're like, but you're too, you're too, you guys are too, too, too lean. You look like you're from the, from the, you know. <laughs> Just fucking love it, don't you? Fucking love it. It's got some new shirts from uh, Blood Tight Apparel Instagram. Blood Tight Apparel. Getting fucking lean. This is how we always are. Look at our videos from a long time ago, six years ago, eight years ago, whatever. We're always fucking trim. We're always trim. Don't worry about being shredded. Just focus on being fit, trim, and healthy. So I've got a question here. How to lose the last five kilos? Am I qualified to answer that question? Fucking oath I am. So I have a question here uh, from a professional race car driver who wants to get into F1. He's 16 years old. Hmm. But he's already 190 centimetres and 75 kilos. So his body mass index, quick calculation, is about 20. 20, yeah, 20. That's lean enough already. This guy doesn't need to lose any more weight, and he's only 16. So I don't tell 16-year-olds ever to focus on weight loss because they don't need to because they're still growing. You don't want to be stunting your growth from following some 1,600-gallery-a-day program or whatever. Um... He's, he's into cycling, he's getting into cycling. Uh, it's good stuff. But you're 16, bro. He says, I've done many diets to lose weight. I have once restricted calories to 1,500 a day and did a 100K bike ride that day. I wasn't, be able to, I wasn't able to get on my bike for the next seven days because my legs were dead. So last December, I changed to 100% vegetarian and 90% vegan. After a month of 100% vegan, I feel great. I'm not restricting calories anymore. I eat a lot. I eat 35 to 4,500 calories. People say, oh, you don't get these emails, do you? I'll cover his name up. But you can see there, you can freeze frame that if you don't fucking believe me. Um, I lost it. And uh, so he's, just, he's enjoying it. So he's eating enough calories, carbon the fuck up now. Um, wants to get a power meter. Get a power meter, definitely. Uh, he trains about 10 to 15 hours a week. It's good. So again, I would say to, to this lad here, you're already lean enough. You don't need to lose any more weight. You're not going to be a, an F1 driver in the next year, realistically. Yeah, how many 17-year-olds are Formula 1 drivers? Correct me if I'm wrong, but so I wouldn't worry about losing any more weight. What I would worry about, what I'd focus on rather, rather than worrying, is focusing on, on getting more mental skills going and focusing on getting your fitness up and your body will just adapt over time. Maybe you're too tall for F1. Maybe you're not. But I would just focus not on losing weight because there's more to life than losing weight. And to lose the last five kilos, yes, you could get down to that weight, but I wouldn't recommend that at your age. All right, maybe after 25, when your your body's you know your hormones and because you're still you're hitting puberty, man. You don't want to be focusing on weight loss when you're going through puberty, especially considering you're already so lean. So I'd say don't worry about losing the last five kilos. Uh, that may or may not happen in the long term. If you're into cycling, it probably will, definitely will happen. If you get your fitness up there, your body mass index will probably drop down to 19. But when you're 16, it doesn't matter because things are, you know, your, your body weight's probably going to go up. As your testosterone kicks in, your bone density goes up, your red blood, red blood cell volume goes up, which means your blood weighs more. Blood's very heavy. It's very dense, the red blood cell. So that goes up. So bones are extra weight. Blood's extra weight. Glycogen's extra weight. Muscle's extra weight. Heart, lung, mitochondria tissue, extra weight. So don't worry about losing the last five kilos, bro, because you don't need to, but focus on mental skills, and that's what really helps an F1 driver. I mean, I, I, it's not the flat, <laughs> here's the bottom line. It's not five kilos holding you back from being an F1 driver, is it? It's the fucking skills, brah, all right? It's fucking skills. So focus on developing those skills, and don't worry about the last five kilo, because it doesn't really fucking matter in your situation right now. So... 
when you start hitting 25, then yeah, you can start focusing on things like that. But otherwise, man, just focus on skills to pay the bills. Done.